ROS or Robot Operating System is an open source software framework or middleware used to build robotic applications. If you ever seen robots like these, these and these, chances are that they run on ROS. In this video we will learn why ROS is used, what are the different types of ROS and installation of ROS on a Raspberry Pi. Now let's understand how ROS works. To understand this, let's consider a scenario. Now let's assume there is a boss and the boss wants to pay the employee her salary. He will deposit the money to a bank. The employee will collect her salary from the bank. Very easy to conceptualize, right? This in a nutshell is the architecture of ROS. A ROS publisher is the boss. A ROS subscriber is the employee. A ROS topic is the bank. RWS message is the money. RWS notes are the boss and employee. Note that boss and employee are nodes to and publisher and subscriber to. In RWS, a publisher publishes the message to a certain topic. The subscriber will subscribe to a topic to receive that message. A node is the piece of script written that has either a publisher subscriber process within it. Hence, the modified version of the image or the modified version of the process will look like this. Now let's understand when to use ROS and why. But if you know this already, jump to this time step so you can you know directly revert to the installation process. So when to use ROS and why? So basically ROS is used when you don't need to you know build everything from scratch. ROS consists of libraries which you can you know easily apply, easily use to make robot applications you know to develop robot software faster. So second thing is whenever you need to manage complex robotic stuff as we all know that robotics is a complex web of actuators, sensors and controllers. These controllers and actuators and everything you cannot you know control with a common software as there is a lot of complexity in it. ROS helps you to deal with it so you can manage this complexity and you can get a clear understanding of how these sensors, actuators and controllers interact with each other to achieve a common task. Now which ROS to choose? So let's take a look at the different version. Here I have an ROS Noetic for which the end of life date is May 2025 after which it will be discontinued and for Melodic so you can see that it works on Ubuntu 8.04 the Melodic and let's check it out for ROS uh, Noetic and that works on Ubuntu 20.4 so this could be a criteria which you can you know uh, take in consideration while choosing also the uh, ROS Noetic supports Python 3 but ROS Melodic support Python 2 so that is another thing which you should be considering what kind of you know what version of Python you require uh, from my side I'll recommend to use ROS Noetic as it supports Py uh, Python 3 and it will help you a lot. Now let's download the uh, this version Raspberry Pi Buster for our uh, Raspberry Pi. It is necessary uh, for uh, you know ROS Noetic to work with. Then flash it into your memory card which will go into your Raspberry Pi. The first task which you need to do is uh, do this command which is sudo apt get update. So this basically uh, will be used to check all the whether the latest driver are installed. The next thing we will do is sudo apt get upgrade and this will basically uh, check that all packages which are installed are up to date and it will update basically the list of available packages and their versions. We'll wait uh, for a few seconds. Now when that's done, let's do a sudo reboot. So we'll be restarting our computer. So in our Raspberry Pi, the RAM is very limited. So we can increase the amount of RAM with swap memory. 
but first we need to stop the amount of swap memory so let's see how we can do that so our system is restarted uh, let's go to the terminal and do sudo dphys swap file swap off so let's do that So sudo dphy swap file swap off. Yes, exactly. So what it does is it's basically switch off uh, whatever uh, RAM uh, before it was using. So current swap file, which is very less. Now edit that file and you can see conf swap size is equal to 100 uh, MB. Now we'll change it to 2048, which is uh, basically 2048 MB or 2 GB. So when uh, our basic RAM is exhausted, the Raspberry Pi can use this RAM. Now let's do the setup and you should see something like this and then uh, configure for Raspberry Pi to use this swap file again. So swap on. Yep. Now we can check uh, you know the amount of swap file RAM memory we have. We just need to do a command which is free uh, space hyphen h. So let's do that and you know figure out how basically how much RAM do we have. So you can see we have an additional 2.0 uh, gig of RAM here and the free uh, memory basically is above which is 3.3 GB and we have an additional 2.0 gig here. So it means our uh, process was successful. Now let's set up a computer to you know get uh, the data except software from packages.rs.org. So this is the command. And let's see uh, if our repo is added using cat command. So if you get output like this, deb HTTP package ROS, this, then you are going right. And it is showing your OS which is Buster main. Now let's uh, download the uh, Ubuntu ski server. These are keys which we need to download from the Ubuntu ski server. And after downloading you'll get something like this. So if you're getting the output uh, something like this, you're going in the right direction. Now again let's check if our Debian package is up to date. So I'll do sudo apt update. Uh, for ROS Noetic to install, we need to install all the dependencies. So the command for that will be sudo apt get install hyphen y python rosdep python ros install generator python ws tool and uh, these are all the basic tools which we require to do. So yeah, I did an error, missed an e there. So after that it will take some time to install all the dependencies for ROS. So these are ROS specific tools and you know some uh, build tools like make and cmake. Now let's wait. So basically now we need to initialize the ROS step. So after that uh, you'll get a uh, output like this. Now we'll update the uh, ROS step. So ROS step is an important features uh, feature in uh, ROS. All the functions uh, which we'll be doing uh, mostly will be related to ROS step. After you do ROS step update, uh, you'll get some hits like this, and then again some more hits, and these are uh, like output like this.
and yeah so we got this output and this is the correct output which uh, everybody should be getting now let's create a folder named uh, ross catkin ws in your home directory so yeah yeah so that's done now let's get into this directory choose into it yeah so i'm inside the directory now now we'll install uh, the rs desktop version here by uh, ros install using ros, ROS install generator and the desktop version will soon be uh, done after that we'll be using ros uh, basically ws tool we'll use and we'll be getting all the uh, remote repos which we need so for that uh, which is which are remote repositories so we'll use ws tool and after you do that it will take a few minutes and you'll get this uh, update complete after doing that uh, let's do ros dep uh, sorry after doing that let's do ws tool update j at trc so this will be uh, compiling all the packages ros packages into source folder so this is uh, used the uh, ws tool update jt source this is used if uh, your previous package throws an error you see your previous command throws an error which is ws tool init source no attack desktop with dot rs install your previous command it shows some kind of error you need to use this tool but i uh, will just use it anyway yeah so everything is fine now when that's done uh, we install all system dependencies using a uh, rosedep install and it will show us all required rosedeps installed successfully if that's the uh, output you are getting then you are on the right path you are doing uh, your basically installation is working now let's install all the noetic packages we'll be downloading uh, the package and re resolving all the dis uh, dependency issues uh, to build a catkin package so it will take a, a lot of time maybe one hour two hour depending on your system so yeah we'll wait for it and when that's done when all the 184 packages are installed you'll get a message like finish processing package 184 or 84 or you know yeah something like this if that's done you are uh, doing uh, correctly you're doing everything correctly so before that we need to source it so for sourcing we need, uh, we first do echo source optros notic setup dot bash bash rc and we're putting into bash rc so it rest whenever the system restarts you just uh, open this setup dot bash file and then source it now to check if it's working we just need to type ros core and the system is running you are getting a ros distro which is noetic and your ros version now let's start ros run turtle sim and you'll get the output like this which is a turtle Now open another terminal and type another command to move it which is total teleop key. Click on the terminal and by moving the arrow button you can move it up down right left. And this is actually proof that the, your ROS, ROS installation is completely successful. And that's it. 
So we'll also try to communicate LiDAR sensor with our ROS software and maybe build a bot with it and maybe you know something like an autonomous bot which can roam around here and there and avoid the different obstacles. So if you want to know more about that, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned.